for loop for repeatedly execute a block of statements until meet or returns the specified condition. For loop contains three parts initialization, conditional expression, steps. I'll define it later. C Shop also provides the forest statements. This statement provides a simple, clean way to iterate though the elements of an array or any enumerable collection. See practical. Okay, go to the solution explorer, right click and add new form. In this form, I will show how to use for loop and for it. The complete concept tutorial of for loop and for each loop. Okay, go to the toolbox and add a button control in the form. After clicking the button, it will execute the for loop statement. Okay, now change the button text. Text is uh, just for loop. Okay, now it's uh, not looking clear. In that case, I just change the font size and font bold. Okay, now uh, in the form back color, when it's from back color, now it's looking amazing. Okay, double clicking the button and uh, click in the code in the button click event integer loop count. Okay, loop count equal to 10. It will loop 10, 10 time it will loop after clicking the button. Okay, in 10 time, within 10 time. I will show how to execute loop and what operation you can use in the loop for loop. Okay, now this is for integer. I you can declare anything. Integer i. <coughs> Initially, it's a start from zero because uh, in in C sharp the index start from zero. That's why i equal to zero means it will start from the beginning from zero. Okay, I less than loop count. Loop count means 10. 10 time it will count. Then uh, it uh, it will stop the loop. Okay, now I'm gonna add a text box. In this text box, it will show the result of loop. Okay, now add a label control. This level control is just for. Uh, Understanding what the result will show in the text box. Okay, I just change the text is as loop result. Okay, now it's looking fine. One size is 12, enough. Loop result. Okay, now go to the button click event. Yes, this is uh, now see that i plus plus after one loop it will uh, plus it will add one in i and when it's completed then uh, it will inch okay now the loop result what will be the loop result initially i declared as loop result equal to zero when one loop count it will plus add the i value in loop result and instantly it will display in the text box so roof result plus equal to i plus equal to means what exists in the loop result variable uh, it will add with i value okay now in the program.cs uh, i have uh, the before tutorials uh, form name so just change the form name so that it's uh, when i debug it will debug the uh, loop uh, for loop tutorial form yes it's now debugged now what happened see that what result will show in the text box one dot text equal to loop result now i'll show uh, how to execute each loop how to execute each loop see that for loop uh, 10 time 10 time it's make 45 how to do this to see it just uh, click the breakpoint at the break and breakpoint and debug 
for let's see that now fresh F11 key in your keyboard to execute each loop for initially I equal to 0 loop count 10 it means 10 time it will loop ok now fresh F1 again F11 again see that initially loop result equal to 0 and I equal to 0 so 0 plus 0 equal to 0 then loop again I equal to 1 so 0 plus 1 equal to 1 then 2 2 plus 1 equal to 3 then like that see 3 plus 3 equal to 6 after 10 time uh, after looping 10 time it will uh, uh, it will be 45 now 6 time 15 plus 6 21 and 21 plus uh, 7 like that finally it will be uh, 45 I think you can understand it if I use 2 with the uh, instead of I in that case it will uh, display after 10 time it will display 20 because uh, 10 time looping each time looping uh, it will add only 2 in that case when 10 time uh, loop complete then it will be 20 finally after looping 10 times it's 20 okay this is for it and I already designed it go to the button click event initially integer value equal to new integer I just uh, declaring an array to, to show you for each statement in the for loop I, I have shown you how to use and how to uh, execute for loop the difference of for and for, for each uh, is you can uh, choose index in the for loop for a statement for loop but for each this is the statement you can you cannot uh, indexing it and you cannot uh, choose the uh, specific index in for each statement okay there I have uh, I, I just declared a, uh, an array and in the array variable I will load in uh, for each loop see that first of all integer i in val what uh, what value exists in the val variable it will uh, add in the i and uh, finally it will display in the text box 1 ok now see that yes 20 finally it's uh, showing 20 if I use plus equal to then it will uh, plus 10 plus 12 plus 15 plus ok this plus means it, it, this is used as string 